friends on YouTube, we're live on Twitch today and today we had a little bit of special beginning because chat was able to decide which of our challenges we're going to be playing today and it was very clear. Many, many uh, friends in the chat want to play Black Widow, so today we're going to continue our Black Widow challenge. As a little reminder of what happened last in our Black Widow challenge, our uh, new kind of like upcoming husband, uh, Chiro, has tried to cheat cheat on Helena, which is something that never happens to her. She is always the one cheating and he got caught. So let's see how it goes. And also here live with us uh, on Twitch today are our Twitch friends who are saying hi to you, our YouTube friends. Thank you so much friends for saying for saying hi. Are you ready for some Black Widow? I'll still try and say our, our Chiro. Miss Atlantis is worry like Team Chiro, Chiro run away and so on, understandably, honestly. But let's see what he manages to uh, run away. But regardless, friends on YouTube, if you ever want to join this beautiful chat and be here with us and play it with us, um, it's super easy. All the instructions that you need are in the description of this YouTube video. So come and join us. Thank you so much, friends, once again for saying hi. Join us, exactly, join us, friends. I would totally listen to, say, to, to, to um, chat. Join us, join us. Yeah, or at least try for a baby. Oh my god, I haven't, I haven't <laughs> thought about this. It's so much fun over here. I agree, I agree. So friends, let's get into the game. Thank you so much once again for being so kind to our YouTube friends. And uh, I missed the message. I played a lot last night and I didn't save my game on purpose. Like the gameplay was good, but I it could have been better. That is some like perfect perfectionalism over there and I like it because I am too. Also Bunny, hi, welcome. Coming in with 91% spicy. That is some really sp spicy Sunday that I see over there. So let's return. Let's return to our household. Let's return to Helena and her mess. So here we are. Uh, one thing that I definitely want to check is um, how many days that she have. She still has 28 days to age up. Friends, I am already getting so excited, so excited to be playing with her as an old lady. Like really being an old lady and being elder and maybe, I don't know, like we will see, we will see whether she will be still going for some like young boys and so on, or maybe some elderly Sims. But friends, also very important, we need some more Sims to be dating in the future for Helena to be dating, to be marrying and so on, you know, what comes after it. So please, if you would love to, I would really love to have your Sims. Uh, on the gallery. So just upload them with the hashtag Spice Queen. You can also write in the description it is for Black Widow because I really, really love to have your Sims and marry your Sims uh, instead of some just like random gallery and so on. And uh, what did I want to say? Yeah, um, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Uh, very good spicy. Oh my god, Zani! 79% spicy. That is very good. I gotta bump up those numbers. That is one of the highest ones, actually. Uh, da -da -da. I have one on my gallery. I vo volunteer as tribute. So just upload them with the hashtag SpiceQuin so that I can come back to it um, maybe later off stream and so on. And definitely I will be happy to place them. Chiro said he didn't cheat since Helena was married when they got engaged. It's messy between them. It's like full of lies. It's toxic. I created a sim with Brit in mind called Puppy Papaya. I can upload him again with your hashtag. Oh my god, Sim do <laughs> with Brit in mind. Why with Brit, Puppy Papaya? <laughs> oh my god, Brit, do you care to explain, or is it actually Sim that should be explaining? So he believed they uh, they had an open relationship. Wait, Chiro said he didn't cheat since Helena was married when they got engaged. Oh wait, 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 wait. So Chiro over here, so our upcoming husband, he didn't know, he didn't know that Helena was married. So he had no knowledge of Helena being married. He kind of proposed to her um, 
independently you know he didn't know in any way that she was married so he just thought she is single because that's what she was claiming the whole time really the whole time that they have been seeing each other before they started like dating and so on so he didn't know that she was married um and so that's not the reason why he's cheating he's just cheating because he wants to uh doo -doo -doo. He saw that ring and even if he didn't know, he caught her on a date. No, he still didn't know. Like that was the way that we were playing it back then in that episode. So we have to just continue with, with the story. Um, he proposed, but also Caleb didn't come to him to like slap him or didn't come to Helena to slap her. So there was no way probably for him to know. So we are going to continue playing with this storyline because this is what we agreed on back then. Uh, so he didn't know. He is just trying to kind of maybe have someone on the side. On the side. Cheer, I tried. Miss Atlantis is really trying hard. Miss Atlantis is really fighting for poor Chiro. Uh, <laughs> but why? It's absolutely amazing thing to have Helena as, uh, <laughs> as a partner. I don't see any like drawbacks about that. Like why wouldn't she want? She is rich. She is looking after herself and things like that. Um, no downsides. No, I, I, I literally see like there are only benefits to dating Helena. Um, and take it as it as you want, but uh, that's all I see. So, friends, let's go, and maybe we should get married, if I remember correctly. Oh my god, <laughs> not all the like dead Sims in here. Um, oh. mm -hmm, where's Chiro? Maybe I should do it this way. That's easier. Open profile. So yeah, they're just engaged. Aww. So let's start planning a wedding and last time friends um, Last time we have been looking at which places would be maybe good to, for them to have a wedding and We already have had a wedding at this place. It's from the gallery as well But I feel like it would also fit for their wedding specifically I do have a sim for Helena, but do I really want him to go that route? Miss Atlantis, there is just one answer for you. And that is yes, exactly, Sani, exactly. Yes, yes, you do, exactly. I, I, I see like no reasons not to. It's an amazing route. And your sim will be on YouTube too. <laughs> you, you want that for them, you want that for them. So, friends, this is the venue where we are going to have them married. This is just the renovated, I would say, venue, which is originally in Tartosa already. And as I said, I think it really fits them so well. Uh, their wedding, their personalities and so on. So I see no, like, good reason to place maybe some new one. This one is, this one is good. And I also remembered, I also remembered that the wedding we had here, it was the one with Daryl. Um, so like two husbands back. There was even Helena's mother in here. So those of you friends who remember Helena's mother, um, she got into the story and at the end, Helena got rid also of her mother because she was giving her uncomfortable questions. She was asking uncomfortable questions about all of her husbands uh, just disappearing after like few days and so on. Um, so that's why Helena just had to also get rid of her. Are we sure or isn't that just you all want him to go that road, route? Um, I mean both could make him an identical twin. Hmm, that's also an option. That's also an option. That's also an option. Friends, there's one more thing. Their Papa Papaya is now on the hashtag. Oh my god, thank you so much, Sif. Thank you, thank you. Friends, there's one more thing that I just remembered. And that is um, Helena's dad. So we totally forgot about him. But once again, the story that I was just telling you about Helena's mom. So once again, um, at one point, Helena reunited with her mom. Um, 
just because she was so stressed for ha from having a baby and she needed some help and so on and so she called her mom before that they haven't been speaking for years uh, just because Helena didn't enjoy living in Hanford on Bagley and having this lifestyle between like animals and gardening and so on and also her mom used to have a lot of men when she was a child and she didn't enjoy that either so uh, but then she called her mom and they kind of re reunited and then once uh, also tiny welcome to the stream thank you so much for the follow and then once uh, Helena uh, Helena's mom started giving her uncomfortable questions about her husband's disappearing and at the same time Helena found out that or Helena's mom Mary told her that kind of her dad is also you know missing because of her, Helena's mom so Helena's mom kind of got rid of her dad so that she can have all the boyfriends and so on so so uh, now let's go back to Hanford on Bagley travel and let's go actually oh, pick up his grave well, okay uh, a uh, minute bio break let's go zanny see you soon i'll put the family up uh, though she won't have the twins one of them is my heir the other uh, moved out with his family miss atlantis just uh, feel free to just put the one sim that you want helena to to date so that i am not confused that i don't end up like dating your heir or something that you don't want so feel free to just do the one sim that you want helena to date that would be the easiest option i believe so let's go back in here and we have to check where is whether there is still Helena's dad's grave. Oh, it's still here. Okay, behind the chicken coop. So this is where Helena's mom has hidden her dad. Can we actually put it to our inventory just easily? It doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like that so the drama is inherited it is it is and that was one of my most favorite stories that I have ever told in the Sims like the one of her mom and her mom's life and everything that she has done and so on and her, you know them being reunited and then her dying and so on uh, you will just have the parents and the younger family members so you can have the two younger brothers One is your and the other uh, a teen right now. Perfect. 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 Ah young adult. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Miss Atlantis uh, I think you can move it into your inventory if it's an urn So since we cannot really put it into our inventory right now I would suggest maybe at some point Helena will want to come back to her roots and move back into this house which I was never thinking would happen but I feel like she understands that that's the only way that she can like pick up the grave or you know like give her dad uh, the ambrosia and so on in between we can be working on ambrosia as well so let's go back home since we cannot pick up the grave right now they can be moved but not inventory the, uh, the one way to keep ghosts away. So we will actually want his ghost and want to see his ghost as well. Um, okay, so what do we need for Ambrosia? We started already looking for things. <gasps> Early midlife crisis. Are you kidding me? Life seems to be passing Helena by these days. It's the same uh, thing day in and day out with nothing to really show for it. It might be time for a change. My girl, you are having midlife crisis every day of your life. What are you talking about? What more do you want from life? Like stability? Is this what you will actually want? Like maybe keeping one man until the rest of her life? I am curious. I am curious because this makes no sense for Helena. I am like, what more do you want, my girly? <laughs> what is the midlife crisis for? Ooh, 
been quiet. Um, can you go? Maybe everyone can go to sleep. Maybe we can woo. Let me check because I don't remember on what we said the woo risky woo percentage. Risky woohoo, adult. 20. Okay, 20. Uh, because most of you friends last time voted for her not getting pregnant. So let's have them. Can they not woohoo? <gasps> Can they not woohoo? That is weird. Can they like kiss? Romance? Uh, wait, Quinn, wasn't you at the top left corner? What do you mean, Miss Atlantis? What do you mean? It's all Mary kill, Mary kill. Same things over and over again. It's getting tedious. Exactly. So, like, she is not... Um, she has a little bit different sense of, like, stereotypical life. And I don't know, like, things happening all the time, again, and being the same. For her, it's not, like, normal life. Like, going to work, taking care of the kids, cooking, and doing laundry. No, <laughs> this is not what she's tired from or bored from in her life. Uh, Cameron, no, it has been in this place for, like, two or three years at this point. So, very long time. I haven't changed the position of my camera. Ooh, ah. Uh. <gasps> oh my god, what was that? Also, Zaddy, thank you so much for your follow. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> Sorry, friends. What happened? Why did she reject him? Unattracted, very satisfied. Friendly advice. <gasps> what happened? Also, Sims Wells, welcome to the stream. Drama, right? I'm, but I'm like, from what? What happened? Unattracted, very satisfied. <gasps> Wait, since when do they have a negative romance? <gasps> Friends, we have to work on this. I think it has to be the last time that she called him um, just cheating. Or trying to cheating on her. This is Helena's fault, clearly. It, I, I, I think so. Negative res, exactly. Dun dun dun. She is sad. She is also sad, but also they have negative romance. Okay. <gasps> they should go to that romance day thing where they get help. Oh my god, yes. Take the let's take the romance uh, counseling. But let's do it in the, uh, in the morning. Oh my god, our poor little guy is just playing here by himself. When is he aging up? He still has also seven days, so that's good. <gasps> let's do this. Let's take them. Let's definitely take them to romance counseling. This is like the best time to also test that feature once again. It is a new feature for those of you who are maybe not sure. It is a new feature that came with uh, Love Struck. So let's definitely, let's definitely do that. Helena, why are you up? You can shower in the morning, it's fine. She said it's not fine. She said it's not fine. Okay, go and shower. And then you will go back to sleep. But she is in general not doing well. She's really not. Friends, I feel like I definitely need to hydrate. I am so thirsty. It's so warm here in my room. It's super hot outside. So I have just water. I'm going to hydrate. Feel free to hydrate with me as well. And let us know what you have to hydrate with. Cheers, friends. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> And I, and I need to like really hydrate a lot. Sun kissed? What is that? What is that? Is it like a drink? I'm a little bit confused now. Do I want some tea? I just don't want to make it. 
Miss Atlantis make it, it will be so worth it. If you have some nice tea, you will be like so happy once you have it, trust me. Orange soda, oh. Okay, it sounds like Fanta. We have fun time here, we don't have sun kissed. Water, enjoy also crystal. Cheers to you, cheers everyone. Those Sims will not sleep, just go to sleep. Okay, perfect, everyone is sleeping. And we still have to figure out what we will do with Orion, friends. It's 6 a.m. Good morning. Let's take a little. There is no shower, so let's take a bath um, with Bentley. And let's have him. Do we have any leftovers? Uh, can you just have chips? And I feel like we should hire a butler. Friends, it is quite a question for me. Why don't we have a butler yet? So let's um, hire a service. Butler. Wow, this is a mystery. I'm quite sure that we had butler in the past. Uh, but maybe we like moved quite a few times and then we kind of lost the butler. We should definitely have one. Exactly. Why is there no food in our fridge? There should definitely be food. Also, what is her cooking? So cooking is 10, but we do need gourmet cooking. So let's make her cook a gourmet meal. Oh my God, I cannot speak those, those things. Cook a gourmet meal. Uh, maybe since when is tortilla wrapped hot dog a, a gourmet meal i don't know but i don't care um as long as uh, it increases her gourmet cooking let's do maybe butternut gnocchi we didn't give him our new address exactly i love that all our gameplays currently have butlers we don't have a butler in uh, in uh, farming we do have uh, the ranch hand service though, so we do have that. And Barbie is going to have a butler, like that is already decided. There is no doubt that Barbie is going to have a butler. But yes, I am enjoying that feature so much. I didn't even oh, know how much I needed it because I it was one of the packs that you friends gifted me. So it's quite a recent thing for me to have butlers in my game. And I don't understand how i was living without butlers i don't know they're just so handy <gasps> it feels like it's been forever since chiro has been romantic with his partner my dude you have been cheating what, what do you mean what do you want i always have mates in the sims i cannot be bothered to have them clean constantly same same and sometimes i don't even notice maybe um like some of the things to clean and sometimes this is so funny friends when i know that i have a scheduled mate when i see that there are some plates on the table uh in the sims i will not even have them clean them i'm like you just leave the plate over there so it's like really really dirty uh oh my god midlife crisis alert He's so daddy, um, he kind of is already, yes. Friends, oh my god, what are going to be the tasks for our midlife crisis? Let's find out, okay? Oh, my girl. <laughs> what? Oh my god, look at her and her midlife crisis. Tend a garden 30 times. Cloud gaze or stargaze for two hours a reach level two in a creative art career oh my god my girl wants to work my girl has a midlife crisis and she wants to go to work view or admire 10 artworks she's having like okay let's let's do a little recap okay of her midlife crisis friends so she it looks like she wants to live a settled life how long is the midlife crisis going to take i think it's this one 
It's so sad that I wasn't romantic with my partner while I was romantic with someone else. <laughs> yeah, like my dude, my dude. Uh, Chiro. Helena is so bored of just being rich, right? Like she knows she can have every man in the world probably when she tries a little bit. She has millions simoleons in her bank outside of the house that she's living in. So like what can bring you some adrenaline into, into your life, like some excitement into your life? It's viewing or admiring 10 artworks. <laughs> True crisis for Helena is she wants to work. <laughs> exactly, Helena doesn't work. She has never worked, friends. She has never worked. Ever since we started playing with her, she was just working in a little bit of different way, let's say that way. Bentley is sitting next to a kid at lunch uh, when he spies something pink in his lunch bag. Is it a bib? The kid smiles nervously and claims that he got his baby sister's lunch again. Then the bib falls out where everyone can see it. Pick it up or just ignore it. Uh, pick it up. Oh no, it's not going well, I think. Okay, let's do it like this. Maybe this is also a good time. Maybe this is also a good time. So I wanted to check how long the midlife crisis for seven days nearly it's going to um, take this midlife crisis. So I would say maybe she started understanding that this is not the lifestyle that will give her everything. And I feel like it's also playing into our cards with that we want to move to... Uh, Hanford and Bagley back to her parents house there she can garden she can do her artwork and she can be working on uh, cooking or baking the Alaska I think it's called um, to bring her dad back to life it actually fits yeah the story is like perfectly coming together I love Friends, I love when Sims doing things like this midlife crisis against my will actually fits into our story. That is so perfect. So, but now regarding Chiro. So it looks like Chiro um, would maybe, yeah, let's, let's send them to uh, counseling, to couples counseling. It's uh, 9 a.m. It's quite a reasonable time. So ask for Cupid's counseling. Chiro, um, Chiro is probably standing here like, because their uh, romance is red, although they are engaged. So Chiro is kind of here like, um, Helena, I, I, I'm so sorry for what happened yesterday. And Helena is like, yes, you should absolutely be sorry for ha what happened. This has never happened to me. I, if I knew that this is how you would behave like an, an not, not a mature man. I would not ever come to you. I would never have dated you. I have so many options in terms of men, in terms of houses I can live in, that you would have been my last option. And Chiro is like, oh my God, Helena, I know, I know how many options you have. I know that you are a, an extraordinary woman who is not found behind every corner. And that's why I really want to apologize. And Helena is like, but Chiro, sometimes apologizing is just not enough. Uh, and Chiro is like, well, I, I agree. That's what I wanted to say as well. And that's why I thought that we might want to want to go to a couple counseling. How would you feel about that? And Helena is like, couple counseling? I have never done that. I solve problems in my relationship out of way, you know, like I never needed couple counseling to solve my relationship problems. And Chiro is like, okay, so um, so which way do you solve your relationship problems? It sounds like you have a lot of experience in solving your relationship problems out of way than necessarily couple counseling. So do you have something easier? Is there something to do to make it a little bit better to solve the problem that we have? And Helena in her mind is like, my dude, my dude you don't want to know you don't want to know my way of solving the problems right 
but in reality she is kind of just like let's not talk about it no, let's not talk about my previous relationships Chiro all that I am trying to say is uh, we can solve it and let's solve it your way this time and Chiro is like okay so um, let's go for a couple counseling I will book us a session right now so there they go Chiro is uploaded to uh, the Spice Queen hashtag, exactly, you can find Chiro on the gallery. Because I know that many of you like him, so go and grab him into your save file. Maybe he can actually survive in your save file, much better in mine. Okay, friends, so we are doing a relationship counseling. So let's go. Let's start with you, Chiro. Close your eyes, look within. What feelings are you sensing in your body today? I feel like today he would just say, I'm okay. I feel like he is not in the best mood. He knows that it's not going well. Sif, thank you so much for taking notes. Thank you, thank you. Very important. Um, well, that's good. It is good to realize that no matter how bad feelings get, it will always pass. There is no cheat code to fixing our emotions instantly or giving us instant simoleons. <laughs> My dude, there is definitely a way to get instant simoleons, but okay, let's move on. If we could just type in a cheat code and fix our lives, that would be great, but we have to be realistic. How about you, Helena? How are you feeling today? I feel like she would also say I can't complain, although I feel like she is feeling like she can't complain, so I can't complain. If your mood is good, that's great. <laughs> she said she is okay. Um, it is important to constantly check in with yourself, like a mailbox. Be a mailbox, Helena. Okay. Let's get to the root of some of the issues. What are you having trouble with in your relationship? Um, I feel like we have a problem with romantic relationship at this point. It's not going well, we are in the red area, we are not in pink anymore. So let's say romantic relationships. You would like to improve your overall romantic relationship. Let's get into it. Okay. I just feel like we are not making progress in our relationship. I mean, we are together, but are we really together? Went to each other, ask for advice. I feel like they came to ask for advice. Uh, it's best to make sure you are being romantic at the end, at the right moment. If either, if you are in a, if either of you are in a bad mood, you might not find your romantic gestures going over too well. If either of you are feeling flirty though, then be a proactive. Flirt like there is no tomorrow, perfect. Well, I would love to dive into this more, but we are at time for today. What is the goal for you both for the next week? Um, Helena going to like Poppy? Oh my God, I have to check it out right, right away. Um, so what is our goal for the next week? Improve? Yeah, I feel like it should be improved romantic relationship. Yeah, let's do that. Oh yes, please do. Improve your romantic lives. A little flirt here and there shows you care for one another. Perfect. So, did it do anything with their romantic relationship? Also, Turkey Babe, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for your follow. Welcome, welcome. So, it got them uh, a positive um, sentiment from being in therapy together. Helena and Chiro are trying to work out their issues in couples counseling. It's difficult work, but it's worth it. So, okay, so they have this good uh, sentiment right now. But it didn't really help their relationship. So, I feel like they should maybe go for a little date of some sort. And maybe we should really go for a golden date. So, uh, also Bentley is at, uh, is at school right now. And am I seeing correctly? 
Okay, I was so unsure because I saw for a second, okay, so Chiro doesn't have like the best relationship yet with Bentley and I was afraid, I just saw this like a little green bar and I was a little bit afraid that it was with Helena. Let me check out. Uh, doo -doo -doo, hashtag. Spice Queen. I am curious. Uh, so let's do households. Include custom content. Uh, Mr. Papaya. Psef. <laughs> and he's also materialistic. Neat and romantic. Hmm. What is Helena? Materialistic, romantic, and snob. So they are sharing two traits. They have the same two traits. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. And I didn't even make him for her initially. You made him for Brett? For Brett? I see that. Friends, so... Uh, let's have them maybe go for a date. So, where should we go for a date? Maybe we can even grab some new uh, lot and place it to the world. Is that not attracted to sims like her? Is Helena attracted to Sims like her? Like who do you mean? Like this guy? Papi Papaya? <laughs> Papi Papaya! Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, friends, let's take a look. I feel like they would maybe enjoy some little spa. Helena is attracted to Sims with a lot of cash. That is quite accurate. Her likes and dislikes, or did you not give her any? So we only gave her... Oh my god, Sim. <laughs> ah, okay, this is with CC. Okay. Um, we only gave her the one that she likes uh, wealthy Sims. But that's it. I am quite sure. So let's go to lots. And... Let's go to lot type. Where would they like to go? Maybe like a pool or maybe like a beach maybe like a spa maybe like a bathhouse um hmm. friends where do we want to go not a library necessarily maybe to a little cafe hmm Movie date. Zanik, what is your um what is your gallery ID? Let me check it out. Let me check it out. Mm, but I am thinking I would like them to have a spa date. Okay, let me copy your name. Do, do, do. It doesn't find it. It doesn't find it. Ah, okay, it does. It does. Hello, gallery! Uh, do, do, do. Which one is it? Family is uploaded. Might add a few more sims. Definitely do, Miss Atlantis. We always need some some new sims. Uh, or I am thinking, I am thinking about doing like a spa moment. We do have one spa. 
For the Black Widow, it's easier to add single sims, but family sims can be added to uh, to the other challenges, definitely. Also, friends, like, feel free to upload just random sims sometimes you create if you are fine with me using them, potentially also getting rid of them at some point, you know, in a way. Uh, but yeah. So, so cinema. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Is there also like a bar of some sort? I can see there is a bar. And now we can also be moving from one place to another. So it is 30 by 20. Where can we move it where there is nothing in a way so far? 30 by 20. This is perfectly 30 by 20. Mm, maybe new crest. Oh my god, look, this is the house by Andrew uh, from our second husband and someone is living there. Someone is actually living there. Oh my god. <gasps> Who is the Sim? Why is he living there? And why is he dead? <gasps> I have so many questions and none of them are answered. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> So let's get back. Uh, we are living in Tartosa. I will upload one of my other Sims to your hashtag too. Feel free, feel totally free. If you are fine with me using your Sims, then just upload them to the hashtag, and there is a chance that we will use them in one of our um, if one, in one of our challenges. So there we go. Let's ask to create a date. Uh, two, two, two. Friends, this is making me so pissed that instead of fixing the actual, like, my wedding stories, weddings, EA is like, um, we're not planning to be fixing that, but if you want, you can be pl playing with the, like, original base game wedding. I am like, this is not how it works. I paid for the pack. I want the weddings to work and to be fixed and not just my mouth to be shut by giving me an option to not use the weddings from the pack that was fo focused on weddings. Like, really, and I am not someone who always just, like, is pissed off at EA and, and all the time is talking like this, but this is so rude. Like, really. I'm glad the option is there, but it's stupid that uh, this is the solution. Yeah, I am like, this is not a solution at all. Like, it doesn't solve the problem. It is just like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, it's disappointing. Uh, ask to create a date. Bon and Gravy? Grenoble. And I feel oh, like yes. this date should be a little bit of romantic repair. That is actually a good way to put it. Uh, complete goals during the romantic date based on the activities you choose, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We should try to be romantic at least a little bit. We might want to start or cloud gaze because that is also one of the things that she wants to do for her midlife crisis. Uh, we can do some TV slash cinema. We can... Yeah, I feel like that's it. Or maybe physical intimacy as, as well and maybe some drinks. And we will go to... New Crest. No, I know what happened Wait. again. Oh my god, this is so annoying. It again said probably as residential lot. This is happening to me also so many times. Is that what happened? No, it's a lounge. It's a lounge. Lizard, hello, welcome, welcome. Good morning to you. Hmm. 
Let's go back. This is weird. It should be working. The lounge is there. Let me try once again. So once again, um, let's uh, ask to create a date. Repair. Notarjosa, Magnolia, Oasis, Forgotten, Hollow, blah, 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 see that anymore, no, 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 new crest. Now it's here, perfect. Uh, so, socialize, be romantic, physical intimacy, TV, drinks, star or cloud gaze, and that was it. Okay, perfect. So, let's go for a date. And also, friends, we will have to take a break because of the ads. So... Okay, look at this place this is oh my god this is so huge look at this tv okay this is like a real cinema this is like a real cinema okay we are taking this and oh my god i love this from outside this is so cool zani i am loving this so much let's take a break because the ads are going to play and i just know that we are going to have this date for a little longer than the time we need for ads so let me uh pause the pause the recording friends on youtube we are back from our break so um i oh my god i love those posters at the cinema i love it okay so let's get inside and let's maybe watch some movie let's take a look um, watch movie with and what can we watch diamonds are for sims diamonds are for sims to get to get ah okay i see moonlight massacre lost dogs journey home college cram uh sims of the dead oh my god simder uh watch super kids Corte cortex Cat catastrophe Roaring Wise, The Adventure of Spaceship Simulation. Wow, interesting. Let's have them maybe watch this. Adventures of Sp Spaceship uh, Simulation. I cannot pronounce it because it's like... Okay, uh, watch with Chiro. There's also a bar for later, so that's perfect. Sims of the Dead, it fits the team. Does it? Okay, let's do that. I don't mind. I haven't, like, um, have my Sims watch any of those movies. Oh, I get... Oh, no! No! Why are they sitting apart? Okay. <gasps> Friends, did you see this? Helena said first. She was the first one to sit and she very clearly sat herself into this single chair. So Chiro was, had no chance, you know, even if he wanted to, to sit together with her. So she was like very clearly giving a signal of, I am just sitting alone right here. You are not sitting next to me and I don't know, like <laughs> touching me at my knees and stuff. No, she is sitting alone. She wants separation between her and Shiro. Okay, we will respect that. He also respects that. He uh, took uh, a seat right next to her. And let's have them watch this. Wait. Okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh my god, zombies! <gasps> Mila, get out of there! <laughs> exactly! Read the room! The movie has started already! Okay, we have zombies. Friends, we don't have zombies in The Sims, okay? <laughs> fake! Fake! All fake! Oh my god, she's freaking out. <gasps> oh, this is Sims 3. Not the other couple flirting. Oh my god, are they even a couple? <gasps> Friends, all the zombies are going to the city. 
Katrina has come. Okay. Katrina, read the room. There is a couple right next to you. Oh, but this is Sims 3, and in Sims 3 we did have zombies. Okay, so that makes sense. Oh, no! All the police coming over. No, there is a kid alone in the car! And there is a zombie outside of the car. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then there is the Sim. What is she gonna do? Is she going to save the world? Are they going to start dancing? <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? They are all dancing the, the same the same thing right now. <gasps> She's laughing at them. And this is the end, and it ended well. <gasps> there are hearts going from Helena's head. Oh my god, wait. So, how was the movie? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. So many things are happening. I think she's married to someone else. Mila, I also think so. Quinn is more invested in the movie than Helena. I was very, in I, I was very invested. I was very invested. Um, Chiro is a bit occupied right now. Should he still go to work? No, take paid time off. Perfect. But friends, look what just happened. Their red romance bar has recovered. <gasps> so they are at romance zero right now. So there is no red romance bar. Oh my God. That was quite easy, but we still have to develop it back to its pink, very pink form. So let's work on that. Should we maybe watch one more movie? Um, let's watch one more movie. Uh, to do watch movie. Um. <laughs> Diamonds are for Sims. Let's do this one. Diamonds are for Sims. Can we please realize how he is unattracted to Helena? Interesting. Wait, but isn't Helena also unattracted to him? No, she is neutral. She is neutral. And she is feeling just fine. So, yeah, let's watch that other movie. Did I click it already? Watch Diamonds Are For Sims with Chiro. Chiro, sit down. Uh, sit down. <gasps> they're kind of. Oh my god, they're kind of flirting together. Helena, where are you going? <gasps> she receded herself. Oh my god, she receded herself to be in this like double seat so that she can he can sit next to her. <gasps> no! No, 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 no! And who is this dude? Who, who are you? Oh my god, okay, this is not going far too well. Okay, let's just enjoy the movie, friends. Let's just enjoy the movie because this drama is too much for me at this point. So, um, what is happening in the movie? He looks sus. I, I don't even know that Sim. But okay. So, okay, there is some criminal. <gasps> what are they doing? <gasps> They made the guard unconscious and there is a diamond! And now there is an alarm! What are they going to do with the diamond? Oh, they stole the diamond and police was too late! Oh my god, and now... Now he's being investigated! Oh my god, no, what is going to happen? Oh my god, he has high mar uh, high karate skill or, or whatever. <gasps> Wait, 
wait, it's turning like 100 times. So who is going to win? Oh, wait, oh my God. The car with the investigator exploded. And he got his diamond. Is that it? I think that's it. <gasps> Friends, those movies. Those movies. That is too much. Yeah, Chiro, don't be yourself, please. You are on a date. So, it seems like... It seems like their romance is recovering a little bit. Which is good news. Uh, very good news. So, they still want to do some things. Talk about TV or movies. So, then come back to Helena. And let's talk to her regarding um, or about the movie that we just watched together. So let's have a little small talk. Talk about TV shows. So he can maybe ask her which one of the two movies she enjoyed the most. Which one was her favorite and so on. Perfect. Talk about drinks. So maybe he can ask her. Uh, maybe he can ask her. Let's do it. To about drinks. So let's maybe talk about where they can go for drinks. I'm going to redo the theater and make platforms eventually. <gasps> that would be so fun. That actually makes sense for a cinema. Jeez, I am back from the bathroom. Welcome back, Siv. Welcome back. Bahira uh, Complain about actor. Clem. Complain Clem. about director. No. What the hell? I have Lipid never Clifford. seen those things. Gribix. Is she Rosa. flirting? Uh, is she flirting? And we have Green. so little time left. So let's maybe ask her to extend the date. Oh. Uh, Where is it? Uh, not clubs, relationship? Silly dish. Um, Wait, where can we extend the date? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Is it friendly? Ah, date actions. That was a wibble. Oh my god. <laughs> you you just wrote like plus minus and I was like, hmm. It's not like something that seems too random. So I started thinking about what you mean. <laughs> Wibble, really good job. Plus minus, perfect. But I can see it plus minus and then enter. So, <laughs> hi Wibble. Ask to extend the date. Wibble is the best modia. He's like plus minus, my dear friends in the chat. Plus minus. Hips. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe we can change venue. <laughs> okay, it extended the time quite a bit. So that's perfect. <gasps> no! Chiro is smelly! <gasps> Oh no, oh no. Let's go to Ciudad de Namorada. And let's go to, hmm. I wish we had like a rooftop bar in here, but we don't. Hmm, park, park, lounge. Oh my God, maybe they should go to the park where they got engaged. Let's do it this way. Let's go to the park where they got engaged. If you have her wash her hands a bunch, it will go away. Yeah, we will have to do that because not the smell during the date. This is even a repair date. Chiro, you are smelly as hell. Come here, wash your hands. We will not tolerate this, okay? Complete 
And is there the blanket? Or okay, maybe I added the blanket to one of the other challenges. So let's add the woohoo blanket. So let's go to it's in um, activities. Is it here? It was here. Yeah, it's here. Perfect. So let's add this blanket in here for cloud gazing so far. Oh, sorry. Uh, watch sky with Chiro. Button grabby. Let's go. Oh my god, look at them! What are you doing? Boy, Masharno? So like Briff! Uh -huh. Let's do it once again. Watch the stars! Uh -huh. Oh my god! Oh my god, let me take a picture of this. This is so perfect. Uh, let me get rid of all the headline stuff. <gasps> look at them! They look so happy, but don't trust it. Friends, this is extremely misleading. What you see is extremely misleading. Don't trust anything that you see. They, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, mm -mm. But I mean, they look cute. They look cute together. It's just all the things that you like know when you know. Okay, so can they like whisper sweet nothings and flirt without standing up, of course? <gasps> no, they have to stand up. Okay. Ayavani. Who's close? Oh. <laughs> okay, stand up and do some flirting because you cannot flirt on the blanket. We actually have to stand up soon. <gasps> what? They are both very satisfied with their relationship? Sims, you are a little bit forgetful. You are a little bit naive. <laughs> They are really both very satisfied. You know what it means when they are both very satisfied? Mixed signals, right? They are... A big confusion. Oh, they're both... If When they are both very satisfied, that means that their relationship, their pink bar, pink relationship bar, will keep increasing over time by itself. Therapy worked? Maybe. It might be. It might be that the therapy actually worked. Oh, that might be the thing. Hopefully. Yes. Also, Maniac, welcome to the stream. Welcome. How are you doing? Oh. Do, do, do. Can you stand up? Oh my god, I think they are broken. Stand up. Perfect. Oh, and now, flirt. Oh, flirt. <laughs> oh, again stargazing? Drink something? Is there like a bartender? There's no bartender. That's so sad. Um, what's Kai again? You see, friends, we have done so many things and we are not even on silver. The new dates are so difficult and I'm not even doing like a lot of storytelling and spending time that way. The new dates are just so hard for me to complete. I have to like really rush through the tasks all the time. I don't know if, if it's just me like finding this a little bit maybe hard or challenging, let's say. Okay, stand up. 
Because you have to stand up to like kiss and stuff. Drink something, light physical intimacy. Let's do that, like physical intimacy. Um, kiss cheek. Oh, cute. <gasps> okay, we can maybe do at least silver. They are being romantic by themselves. And who is this man in here? Tanguro, wait, isn't this actually Nancy's husband? Also, Tony, hi, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Good morning to you. Welcome, welcome. Wait, isn't this Nancy's husband? Where is Nancy? I think Nancy is called Nancy Guru. Oh, Tony! 69% spicy. Oh, okay, okay. It is Nancy's husband. Nancy? Did Nancy, like, kick him out? from the house and now he has to like sleep here on the bench i am i am so confused i am so confused also they are going to freeze to death so can you please change to your winter outfits yeah right maniac i don't know what's happening i am so confused Nancy, come get your guy exactly no probably nancy just kicked him out because of something like she was like Today, I didn't like the dinner, so you are sleeping outside. And the poor guy is here sleeping outside. I don't know. It's Nancy Landgrab. I would not be surprised about, honestly, anything, oh right? Um, so, there are many options of what is likely happening. Let's manage this at least to silver. Hey, Helena. Who are you? I don't know who you are. Uh, let's flirt. Two times. James Deadpool. Wasn't Nancy our bestie at one point? She was. She kind of still is. We just don't have um, many, much time for our friends. Let's say it that way. Okay, we have silver. I feel like that's it. Yeah, she needs to be. Yeah, she needs to be. Go pee. Poor Bentley is home and she doesn't even know probably where both of, like, not his parents, but like both, both of adults who are living with him have gone because they left in the morning and they still haven't returned. And so how is their relationship now? Can we manage to maybe woohoo? Bentley and the childhood trauma, my poor guy, like I, I don't even know. And the, the worst thing is, He's not the one responsible for all of the things happening to him, but probably he is going to have like a lot of trouble like figuring it out when when he is older and so on. So I really really feel so sorry for for him. It was just really being born into this family and that's it like I don't know, it's very very sad. So the date is... Oh, 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 oh uh, he's coming to to the bathroom while she's peeing and talking about llamas. Uh, oh, oh, he's like telling some engaging story while she's peeing. Friends, tell me that they are not like very comfortable in their relationship when one of them can be like, she's probably pooping because she like really needed to. And he is talking about hey. rainbows and telling oh. her some engaging story. <laughs> like, this is... She didn't like it! Oh my god, she didn't like it! <laughs> she didn't like it! Reward earned. So we got uh, a mochi. Oh! She did not like his poop story. Yeah, she was like, just, <laughs> just not bad. now. Maybe not right now. Let's get him to let's get them to go home. Perfect. My ex used to talk to me like uh, that while on the toilet, and it used to annoy me. I don't know. I don't even let anyone in when I'm on the toilet. <laughs> like that's it. They would never get to me. Or maybe they can talk to me like through the door, but that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Where is the mochi that we got? We were supposed to get a mochi. There needs to be poop habit compatibility in a relationship. Poop habit compatibility. What is that? Like, like you, 
Mm -hmm. What is that? Like, does it mean that you don't need to use the bathroom at the same time? <laughs> well, that's new to me. It's new to me too. <laughs> it's new to me too. But I am willing to listen. I am willing to listen. Whenever you talk or not, have open door or not ETC. Ah, I thought that it's like, you know, not needing to use the bathroom at the same time. For my ex, he closed doors and would have to be far away. Yeah, of course. Different habits. Hmm, interesting. Share mochi with Helena. Also, how is Bentley doing? What is he doing? My poor guy. He's watching TV. Oh, can you please just, I don't know, like do your homework or something? There is his homework. Do homework. You are a good guy. Are you going to eat it? Oh, ah. Forget the chess, Helena, I forget the chess. Nova. You are going to have some lovely mochi. Uh -huh. Looking for a guy in finance, 6'4", compatible, uh, co compatible boob habits. Finance, 6'5", compatible boob habits. Finance, 6'5", compatible boob habits. Finance, 6'5", compatible boob habits. Finance, 6'4", compatible Poop habits. <laughs> That's it. Oh my god, look at them. Oh, you can do this also standing? I thought only like sitting. Oh my god, those mochis look so good. Friends, I really want mochi right now. Oh my god, this looks so yummy. Yes, let's go. Oh, with a loy? Huh. I didn't know yeah, you can do it standing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why does she look so shy? Why does she look so shy? Oh my god! What is happening with the pink bar? <laughs> Friends, today, today, we went through a red pink bar. Then we kind of managed to get it back to not being red, but it was at zero. And now, like within a few hours, they nearly filled it to the full or like three quarters what is happening chiro is definitely a charmer 100 percent i like doey how you are like he is a charmer not she is a charmer because in my mind i'm always like she is the one who is moving things but doey is like no this is actually him like persuading her but i love to be playing this story uh with chiro and helena a little bit different way because normally what we have is helena being like in control being the one who I don't know, like, has the situation in her hands. And here she actually doesn't. Like, this is the first one she has been cheated on. Um, this is the first time she needs to, like, repair the relationship. Although she was not the one cheating and so on. Um, Quinny said quarters like a New Yorker. I love it. I felt it myself. And when I said it, I was like, oh my god. I couldn't say which accent it was, but I felt very British. <laughs> I was like, what a... Water, quarters. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Because when I was learning English in Slovakia, we would say like quarters or something like that. But I was like quarters. <laughs> Friends, I am I'm uh, traveling to London soon. So I have to start practicing my uh, British accent. <laughs> I was not British at all. Okay, let's move on from my British um, freaky accent. Or whatever it is. Oh, and let's woohoo. I am meeting Carol, yes, and Holly, and maybe some other people. I will not say because it's like, you know, we have to talk first. But yes, it's happening. So if everything goes as, as planned, we have planned on the dates that should be available for us. And yes, friends. Can we get a shout out for Carl, friends? Because you should follow Carl. And I am also going to meet Carl IRL. 
My ex would uh, make fun of me when I would do an accent by accident. <laughs> Yeah, your ex sounds like a douchey, yeah, 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 yeah. I walk in the door and I hear, let's woohoo. Yeah, Chris, let's woohoo, let's woohoo. And friends, once again, follow Carl. I don't know if Carl is here, but just surprise him with a little follow. And once again, I'm going to meet Carl and I'm like, ah! I'm so excited. Sometimes I feel like I talk like the biggest Carl fan, but I am. <laughs> I am. I love Carl. Okay, let's woohoo. Friends, let's do it a proper way with the... Um, uh, let's do it this way. Like proper gigantic way. We love Carl in this house. We do, we do. We are Carl stands. We are. Yes, friends, I love it. I love it. So you will see all of us in Carl's streams. So um, let's woohoo. Uh -huh. I feel so like uh, Chiro would try to do this sad. move on Helena and try to like ask her to woohoo, so Cuba. let's do it. <laughs> it was in good fun, <laughs> I would get revenge and make fun of his slip ups too, oh my god. I feel like you just have to like understand what is fine, which humor is fine and not fine with. Mm, with your partner or generally I feel like also with your friends like really just reading the reactions because I am not someone who likes roasting too much like I oh, will manage you. some like light roasting but I am for, for example also here on, on the stream I wouldn't let the situation get into like roasting some people get on stream and the same is with my friends but I also don't do it myself but there are some people who are like relationships are for like grilling each other and roasting each other I feel like everyone just has a different preference and it's very important to like read the boundaries of a person whatever it is and yeah if that was fine for you Tony then it's fine if it was like maybe of your limits then like please no mm -mm. i agree i hate roasting same same i am like i have like maybe two friends and like we will roast each other but once again we know like our boundaries um and we i never i never would agree to roasting on like insecurities so things that i will be roasting on is like some bullshit stuff but never on insecurities or like anything physical or anything that i know would like really hurt people that they would like think about the next day i struggle with understanding those boundaries so i tend to do uh the safe option if not do it and not do it yes yeah, same same i feel like i don't know i am just like that and i have good luck to meeting people who are understanding of that a lot of people disguise truth through roasting like microaggression against someone mm, I, I wasn't ever thinking about that but it might actually be true as well it might be true okay so they are sleeping they would and i feel like she should do a little pregnancy test because we have some risky woohoo on we have 20 percent risky woohoo Okay, she's not pregnant. Now she will be sad and I will just get rid of it because she doesn't want to have children. Uh, do, do, do. I feel like I should get that mod, which makes it so that the Sims, you can say whether the Sim wants to get pregnant or not. And based on that, they either get sad when they, oh my God, we have to, do we have, yeah, we do have food bowls. But we maybe should get some toys for Orient because I maybe haven't realized we don't have any toys. But what I wanted to say is... I forgot. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Orient, you have a little toy in here. You have a little toy in here. What else? Can you come and poop? Oh no, Orient. Helena, wake up and ask to go potty. Uh, I dislike when they get that moodlet when they never try to get pregnant. Exactly, so. exactly. Who is, who is this? Coming here at the midnight. <laughs> Sir, can you please leave the property, please? And go back to sleep. Perfect. 
What do we do with Orion friends? Let's give let's give Orion to Nancy. How about that? Let's give Orion to Nancy. Hmm. <gasps> Poor Orion. Yeah, how old is Orion? He is still an adult dog. Let's give Orion to Nancy. Split for my household and move. Bye, Orion, I will miss you. Uh, other households. Huh? Since where are pancakes living in Tartosa? Hi, Nancy. I know we haven't talked in 10 years. I saw your husband sleeping in a park bench. Anyways, I am sending my dog over. <laughs> Exactly. Maybe we should go and ask her whether everything is okay. Okay, let's leave it to tomorrow, okay? We are not sending Orion anywhere right now. Um, let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. Let's go and talk to her. Let's go and talk to Nancy about her life and whether everything is okay because it doesn't seem very okay, not gonna lie. Okay, it's going to be morning. And we have to plan our wedding. I am thinking whether we should do the wedding today or next time. But I think we should do the wedding next time, personally. That would be my plan, probably. So we have like enough time for everything and uh, just chilling and not hurrying up with everything. Uh, oh my god, talk like a pirate day? Mm. Not my favorite, but we will do it. Get leftovers. Bentley, I forgot you existed. <laughs> Poor little guy. Okay, also go and get leftovers, Bentley. He's so sad. From pre in the presence of death. Oh my God, look at this little guy. And the way he even talks at this point, he is like, I am in the presence of death. Oh my God from losing a friend that is so sad from a child who is supposed to like just care about going out with friends and playing hopscotch and things like that and he is like i am in the presence of that no please no that's so terrible we still have so much time of the midlife crisis that's unreal Okay, I can see that the butler is also here, so let's assign our butler maybe this room or this bed. So assign bed to butler. Oh, look at look at our butler. Where is where is he? Wow, he looks very interesting. Rashid, Rashid Mandir. Okay, okay. She's enjoying her foodies. Honestly, I would also enjoy butternut gnocchi. Oh my god, look at them. They are doing like a little cheek kiss in the morning by themselves. <gasps> okay, we. it's an improvement. It's an improvement. Cute, right? Finally, finally. They fixed the relationship. So, uh, I would say let's go and visit Nancy. I would like to know where Nancy is living because I feel like everyone is living somewhere else at this point. So hopefully we manage to find Nancy. Hopefully she is still living in her huge mansion and not some like nonsense house anywhere else. Of course she isn't. Of course she isn't. Okay, let's find Nancy. Oh. Let's find Nancy. Um, what is she called once again? She is called Nancy Guro. Now I remember Nancy Guro. Save and go to manage worlds. Uh, 
and manage households other households let's do a to z and let's look for guru oh she has a new child and she is living in del sol valley okay which which house in del sol valley that is the question that is the question financy financy finance a man in finance oh <laughs> she is definitely not working, but um Oh, she is living in um the Judith house. <laughs> okay, okay. Why is her man then sleeping outside on a bench? I would like to know that, but uh, hmm. okay, okay. Uh I'm looking for a man in finance. Isn't she a crime lord? Canonically, she is a cli cli crime lord, yeah. Looking for a Nancy. 5-2, baby, baby news. And guy sleeping on a bench, or a husband sleeping on a bench. And did you also see, when I was at the map, he was like transparent a little bit, so it means like he's not, still not home. See, he is still not home. He has still not arrived home. He's still somewhere outside. Oh my god, this is hilarious. So let's talk to Nancy. <gasps> Nancy is sad. <gasps> Friends. Oh my god, we have to find out what's happening. We have to find out what's happening. Okay, um, we can maybe sit in here, uh, sit together. And let's have a little talk. Actually, Helena fits into this house, not gonna lie. Sit together once again. Nancy, don't go anywhere. She is living in Judith Ward's mansion. Yes, yes, that's what I said. She is living in Judith's um, house. Judith is probably gone at this point. Did you bring the dog? Not yet. We have to announce it at first. You know, we cannot shock her. So, we still have romantic relationship with her. Uh, where is she? <gasps> we have full romantic relationship with her. Okay, let's talk to her. Let's talk to her. So, uh, let's flatter her. So, Helena is kind of like, oh, Nancy. Once again, friends, they have a romantic relationship and they even woohooed in the past, but in principle, they are just friends. But they happen to woohoo. Uh, Nancy should be dead by now. Not sure why she is the same age. Um, she was young adult when... Yeah, she was young adult when Helena was young adult. So they should be the same age. So it makes sense because we started playing with Helena when she was young adult. Um, and Nancy is by default young adult when you start a save. So I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense. So Helena is like, oh, Nancy, I love your outfit today. And Nancy is like, thank you so much, Helena, but I am really not feeling very nice I am not feeling worthy I, I am not I am just not feeling it and Helena is like why what is happening and Nancy is like I don't know I don't know Helena my marriage is just is just in pieces and I really don't know what to do and Helena is like Nancy I have to admit I saw your husband sleeping on a bench and Nancy is like, what? My husband sleeping on a bench? Do you think that someone saw him? Do you think that anyone saw him? Do you think that people know that my husband was sleeping on a bench? And Helena is like, yeah, but the main question is why was he sleeping in a on a bench when you are living in this beautiful, huge house? And Nancy is like, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it beautiful. It's like square and empty and has not many windows. 
uh, you know, Judith Ward didn't have a very good style, but we still wanted to buy the house because it used to belong to Judith Ward, you know? And I feel like when I have something from Judith Ward, I feel like I feel like I'm worth more. I feel like she's giving me, you know, the feeling like I am sleeping in the same bed that Judith used to be sleeping and so on. So it just feels good, you know, Helena. And Helena is like, I know Nancy, you, you forgot that I am also materialistic in a way. Like that is one of my traits. So so you don't have to ask me whether I understand you you just know that I understand so there is like no discussion regarding this um, I would also buy Judith Ward's house if I saw it in an auction and Nancy is like thank you so much at least that is giving me a little bit of better feeling I have to admit but yeah I I really hope that no one saw my husband sleeping on a bench that would be so embarrassing and Helena is like but well back to the question why was he sleeping on a bench uh, in the first place when you have this absolutely huge house why would he be sleeping on a bench and Nancy is like well you know sometimes men misbehave and you just have to send them away for for a few nights and Helena is like, yeah, I know this now. Men sometimes misbehave. Mine misbehaved as well. I caught him cheating. I caught him going on a date with another person. And Nancy is like, oh, um, you mean that kind of misbehaving? Um, yeah, I mean, and, and uh, Helena is like, so what did yours do? Was he also cheating on you? And... Nancy is like, um, no, he, he just, I mean, mm, you know, um, the story is I, um, I just wanted like a steak for lunch on Sunday. And when I say he misbehaved, what I mean, um, um, he made me a steak and Helena is like, well, that sounds great. You wanted a steak, so you got steak, right? And Nancy is like, um, yeah, so I got the steak, but um, it was burned. It was well done. It was not medium. And so I really think that he was misbehaving, thinking that I would like a well done steak. So I felt like I needed to just send him away to learn his lesson. And Helena is like, how do you think that he is learning his lesson when, when, when you send him away? And Nancy is like, I don't know. I just felt like it, you know, I, I, I feel like that's how it was with Geoffrey back when he was still living. He would do whatever I wanted. If I said that I want my steak medium, he would make it medium and not well done. So when you, when I tell my man, I want something, I want it. I don't want something else. So he should learn and he should learn by heart. So, um, in a hard way. So if that means sleeping on the bench, then so be it. But he learned. And Helena is like, oh my God, Nancy, that sounds like you are going through so much in your life. And Nancy is like, I am Helena. It's really not easy with these men. It's, it's really not easy. Look at us. We are both struggling with our men. Each one of us in different way, but we are. And Helena is like, yeah, yeah, sure, darling. But what I wanted to see, I feel like I have something that would give you, you know, a better feeling to your life. What would give you maybe a new fulfillment. And Nancy is like, oh, what do you have, Helena? Do you want to give me something, something expensive? Friends, we have a poll. We have a poll. Should Helena comfort Nancy with some loving? Yes or no? Friends, please vote in a poll. Make sure to vote in a poll. You know what would make things better? A dog. Uh -huh. Let's get to it. Quinn storytelling is big. I am enjoying it. Definitely. He called his Louis Vuitton handbag a knockoff. Her, 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 her Louis Vuitton bag might be as well. He was probably misbehaving in more ways than just one. Let's be honest. And so Nancy is like, um, you have something expensive for me? Or how do you think you would make things better? Um, and Helena is like, 
uh, no, Nancy, we have to learn something in life. You know, I know that both of us are really like materialistic in a way. That is also one of our traits. We love to live in beautiful houses. We love to have expensive handbags and we like to have our stakes medium when we say medium. But there is something more to life than just that. And uh, Nancy is like, uh, something more than all of that? Then maybe that is like a Hermes bag, right? Like um, th that is the most expensive bag in, a, in the world. So maybe that's the thing. And Helena is like, no, 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 Nancy. There is something that is not materialistic that can uh, make you much more happy. And Nancy is like, just tell me because I really don't know those things. You know that. And Helena is like... I think you should adopt a dog. And Nancy is like, adopt a dog? But Helena, I <laughs> look at my house. It's so clean. I don't want any like dog hair around here. I don't want uh, a dog with a lot of saliva. Oh my God, friends, I can see that loving way one. Okay, friends, let's get into it. This is crazy. I never knew we could do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Th that is also possible with the voting. And so she is like, I want my house to just be clean. I don't want any dog with like a lot of saliva all over his face and a lot of dog hair all over my, all over my um, house. I don't want that. Um, Helena, you are wrong. And Helena is like, Nancy, trust me. I have had two animals. I have had a dog and a cat. And those were the most loyal creatures in my life. No man or no Louis Vuitton bag can be the same as having a beautiful pet in your house. And Nancy is like, in which way do you mean that? Like how those animals, they are just loud and filthy and expensive and stuff like that. Like you. And uh, Helena is like, well, Nancy, it's not about that. It's about the love. And it seems like y something that you are struggling with right now is your man just not loving you. It's very clear. You said you wanted your steak medium. He made it well done. He's not loving you. He's not listening to you. And that's definitely not something that would happen to you with a pet. And Nancy is like, oh, do you think so? then maybe maybe i might want to try for like a day or two and you <laughs> get you a man that can get your steak right <laughs> right oh nancy i totally understand that sentiment about dogs oh do you tony you don't like dogs you don't like dogs but helena is like no nancy it's not like you tried for one or two days mm -mm. Also, Tony, thank you so much for your follow. Welcome. It's not like you tried for one or two days. When you get a dog, it's forever. It's until they die or until you die. And Nancy is like, oh, that sounds like for like happily forever after until we die. And Helena is like, exactly. That is what you always wanted, right? And, and Nancy is like, yeah, that's kind of what I want. And Helena is like, what if I told you? What if I told you that I have a dog exactly like that already ready for you? And Nancy is like, what do you mean you have already a dog ready? And Helena is like, I have the most beautiful, the most charming, the most calm and the most hairless dog already reserved for you somewhere. I have been thinking about you, Nancy, and you know how much I appreciate you. And I always want to make you happy. So I already was thinking about you and I have reserved this dog right for you. And Nancy is like, oh my God, Helena, that is so nice from you. Thank you for being such a great friend. My husband could never. And Helena is like, yeah, of course, of course, Nancy, that's, that's nothing. Uh, if Tony is in her, I know, um, in a good stream. Hi, Tony. Wait, so are you, um, are you from Tony's streams? But welcome, Tony. So lovely to have you here. Thank you so much, friends, for welcoming Tony as well. We do like Tony here. We do, we do. Can we get a shout out for Tony as well? Tony is a, is a really great, um, sim streamer, mostly a builder, and he streams exactly in like opposite time than I stream. So you are 
you are going to really enjoy. I'm back, sorry being multitasking at work, please Zanny, don't apologize and hopefully everything is going well at work. Uh, da -da -da. <laughs> we don't talk like that here, oh my god. There is a license come first. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe so uh friends i feel like uh we are going to definitely transfer uh orion into nancy's household now because she understands and then helena is like oh nancy also one more thing one more thing i can see that you are sad and you know that i have some methods i have some methods to make you happy do you remember and Nancy is like, oh yeah, I really need that right now. Helena, thank you. So, <laughs> oh my God, look at these bedrooms. Let's do it in this like tiger themed uh, gold and black bedroom. Why can't we? Ooh. <gasps> hey. Heave who with Nancy? Okay, that's it. Uh, da -da -da. We met in Hi Hello Rachel stream. Oh my god, that sounded like so much fun. Once again, welcome, welcome. He streamed my full sleep cycle tonight. Started as I went to bed and ended shortly after I got up. True, true. So, um, yeah, I would say that even in townies time zone tiny is streaming quite late like for american time zones it's probably also like night but yeah pirate day yeah very very confusing nancy is sort of fall falling for helena and wants to ask her if she would like a, a relationship <gasps> friends oh my god all of these sims just running into us, wanting to marry us. Friends, there is not enough time in Helena's life for all the Sims that already proposed to her in the past. Oh my god. All you wanted was to get rid of your dog. <laughs> time for someone else to die. Nancy, you are misunderstanding. Oh, let me say not right now and <laughs> and she's married oh my god let me say not right now and let's see how it what it did with the relationship okay it went like half down that's okay take all her monies so at some point we're probably going to marry nancy too like she has been our plan for some time but we just get proposed to all the time well, we have other plans, so it's like really impossible. Oh my god, not Malcolm being being locked out in here because he rather doesn't just go here. We can keep Nancy in our back pocket. That's pretty much what we are doing. Oh my god, poor Malcolm. No, 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 Stop staring! Just get out! Oh, not him seeing Nancy like this! Malcolm! Leave! Oh my god, friends! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What is going to. Uh, Helena! Helena is like, act normal! Be normal! Act like nothing has happened, just be normal. Do your push-ups so it seems natural. Just be natural. Act like nothing is happening. <laughs> Big Sims. Oh my god. And oh my god, friends. And if as if it isn't enough, we are getting a phone call. Why do people read books? That's easy because uh, they like the author. You have got a good reputation. And that's all I all I need to know. We can make you a great writer out of you. Oh my god, my my oh my dude. It's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, um, Malcolm, please just let us bang your mom in peace, right? Decline. She's not ready to work yet. Oh. Nancy has no makeup for her sleepwear. Interesting. I thought that you would. Malcolm, yeah, leave. Just leave. It's better for you. Trust me. 
Oh, <laughs> trust me. Oh, oh my god, I missed the ad break. Oh no. But we are not going to do anything like wild after this. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, friends today it's crazy oh oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no this is oh no oh no this is um her husband this is nancy's husband listen helena no 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 change change outfit change outfit change your outfit right away he doesn't see it he doesn't see it yet okay you are not in his angle of view okay change your outfit mm -mm. change it <gasps> no don't go there change your outfit Change it! Okay, perfect. Oh my god. Nancy, where are you? Nancy, Nancy, your husband is here. Nancy, your husband is here. Change your outfit. Um, uh, uh, wait, dresser. Friends, I am... This is too much for me. This is too much for me. Okay, so now we have to talk to her husband. Or can we like do some actions through her? So can we like go actions? No. Wait, how does this work? Activities? No. There should be something like persuade the sim to go to other sim and say this or that. But I really don't see where that is. Also, welcome back friends from the ads. And thank you so much for letting them run. I totally missed like... Uh, announcing that they are going to run but thank you so much for still being here thank you thank you stress about lost time yeah i don't know i don't know where to do that but regardless helena you need to run okay the husband is home uh just we will just send we will just send over <gasps> Malcolm is coming. Oh my god, hopefully he will not say what happened. No, don't talk to no, 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 Malcolm. Think about it. Because you are adult now. No, he's still a teen. Can you play? Uh yeah. Auto H. Unplayed. Okay. Okay. That kid is so traumatized. I feel like he's traumatized also from having um, Nancy as a mother, not gonna lie. I am telling you, the aging is weird. It is. He should not be a teen. I was like, but also, it feels like we're playing forever, but we go, like, for example, right now, we just went through one Sims day. So we are taking our sweet time with this challenge. So it might feel like we have played, like, a lot. But I don't think that we are necessarily. Let's save and go to manage worlds and let's send Orion over because Nancy is already l waiting for Orion. We're excited at home. You want a long lifespan? No, 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 no. We are on the normal lifespan. So let's split. Yes, not create other households. And they are in San Machino. San Machino? No. Del Sol Valley. Yeah. Bentley is almost a teen though. And he was born when Malcolm was already a teen. We can also just age up Malcolm. Honestly. Then he is. He, should, uh, he shouldn't be a teen by now. Then it's Bentley's birthday. I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. Orion, bye! Oh my god, Orion Galactic. Orion, bye! We'll be missing you! Bye, bye, bye! Let's send them, like, 10k. On top of Orion. <laughs> oh my god, Nancy is broke! <gasps> Friends. I, I mean, she's not, like, broke. But in our terms, she is, like, really broke. Poor Nancy, she is living in poverty. Oh my god, look at her. Good, we can then send her maybe another 10,000 simoleons. There you go, Nancy, and another one and another one. Because she is not doing well. Okay, Nancy, thank you so much for taking care of Orion. Bye, one more, bye. Okay, done. Friends, done. Uh, teens are teens longer now, but yes, he should be a young adult now. We can just age him up. That's not a problem. It's really not a problem. 
Uh, doo -doo -doo. Perfect. Maybe when you kill uh, her, sell her house and take it all. That's what we are doing exactly. Another one. Another one. Oh. Oh. Another one. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. Friends, I feel like that's um, going to be it from The Sims for today. Of course, on Twitch, we are not leaving it. We also raid and everything. But I feel like we have done enough today um, for Helena. Also, for anyone who is new to our Twitch or maybe watching right now for the first time and you are enjoying the challenge, there is a whole playlist with all of our previous episodes on this YouTube channel where I post all the votes. So if you are enjoying, feel free to just catch up on previous episodes and so on. And also there are other challenges that we are playing. The shirt, yeah, the shirt is mm -hmm, like a mummy. Hello. Yeah, the shirt is very, very good. I like it so much. I like it so much. So next time we are going to get married because our relationship with Shiro is already like nearly full. It's going very well. So next time we're getting married and then let's see what happens. I will say just so much. Okay. I have some plans, but I will not say anything. So friends. Would you like to maybe say bye to our YouTube friends? I would really, really appreciate. Let me save the game uh, so that we don't lose all of our progress. And yeah, so once again, the plan for next week for the Black Widow challenge is very clear. We are getting married and you know what's happening then later. Also, once again, Twitch friends, YouTube friends, if you want to um, have your Sims maybe be married to Helena next, just post your Sims, your single Sims uh, to the gallery with the hashtag SpiceQuinn. I would definitely, definitely love to be um, to be dating your Sims in the past and getting, um, getting rid of your Sims. So thank you so much once again, friends on YouTube for watching all the instructions as always on how to get here on Twitch and be here with us are in the description. It's super, super easy and we would love to have you here. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!